Simeon Dennis Laplace was also a pretty good, pretty great writer. Oh, yeah. Laplace was a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, he was really the first serious statistician. He was the one who. Uh, the Laplace he approximation for the binomial? No, no, he exactly. determined basically how to supply the Napoleonic army. Oh. How much men should be in well, the army? Napoleon wasn't terribly happy with Laplace. Uh, yeah, because he was, Napoleon always had a soft spot in his heart for, for men of intellect, and Laplace, of course, was a premier of, of brain at the time, and so Napoleon, de Napoleon decided to make him the Minister of the Interior. He was rather painful, Laplace. I, I'm not sure, but he drove Napoleon nuts because being a good mathematician, he would become absorbed in details and not, he couldn't make any decisions, and he was just constantly Worried about the wait till I work out the answer. extreme details, right. and and you know Napoleon was waiting for the guy to do something. And the guy just paralysis by analysis. You know he just got <laughs> bogged down. Yeah. That's one nice thing about the business majors. It's go the hell, the hell with the math. We're doing it. Invest that money. Yeah, is it close? Yeah. You yeah. think it's going to work? work. Well, yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm adding that to the file. Of course, I probably missed one of my good sheet. But... No, I have it good. Can you just give us the cool sign? Tell you what, I'll give you a break. <laughs> Actually, that one is very similar to this. So when you memorize these, you'll be confused. You don't have to know something for the final. Oh, uh, you heard that? <laughs> you mean I gotta know something? All right. All right. Well, here, Dave, you gotta do this one. Oh, cinch! Oh my God! <laughs> it's yeah. a cinch. Hyperbolic sign. It's sign hat. One half of the sign is sign hat. No, cinch. <laughs> what happens here? They actually plan to see their minus X, I think. Is that it? One can't take it anymore. You have to go get some back. Well, can, yeah, can we piggyback on what we already know? Let's let's assume <laughs> linearity. We'll prove we'll prove that as a separate issue, but this is really E to the alpha t minus e to the minus alpha t over 2, right? So assuming the linearity, it's 1 half e to the alpha t minus 1 half uh, e to the minus alpha t. So go get the formulas for e to the alpha t. There they are, 1 over s minus alpha. And you have 1 half times 1 over s minus alpha minus 1 half 1 over s plus alpha, okay? So this is the non-integration way of getting the uh, transform of the cinch. And of course the caution, the, the caution is that a plus sign. So what you get here, 1 half times uh, s plus alpha minus s minus alpha over s squared minus alpha squared, right? So uh, I think this would be 2 alpha over 2 times s squared minus alpha squared, or alpha over s squared minus alpha squared, which happens to be correct. Okay? Cosh is going to be s over s squared minus alpha squared. Yes, that is true. So we have cinch and flush. Would you like me to post a table of these things? Okay, we'll do. Okay, there are some. There are some. Let's see. And for homework, what others do you want us to work out? Well, yeah, I'm going to give you some. I'm going to give you some. Uh, Anybody not remember what a cinch of caution is? No, the Canton area is. 
Not a cancer. Not a cancer. Yeah, it's a cancer ball. Those are always, always work for those, like, two telephones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cancer. It doesn't. As long as you have, as long as you have a, a flexible uh, membrane with a uh, constant tension, it doesn't matter whether the heights are the same or not. This this is always a exception of a cosh. Uh, cosh uh, X with some coefficients out front. So that's all I remember is when we did this in class. Or whatever. Like all the applications are yeah. 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 well, the wire. Well, they do that. Yeah. They do yeah. that in yeah. Calc too. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. That's what it's it's have. easy. Yeah. This this function allows you to rec I rectify the cat down very easy. Yeah. Find the yeah. find the actual yeah. length. Yeah. How much right. wire you're really you're using? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, a couple general theorems, uh, and these fall directly from the linearity properties of the integral. If I have the Laplace transform of, say, uh, C f of t, C1 f of t, plus C2 g of t. What do you suppose that is? Linear C1 of f plus C2 L of g linear operator. Conditions, I think you need to be a linear operator, correct? Well, linearity is, linearity is the condition. What do you, what do you think? Uh, I remember seeing this a while ago, but I, re I remember the one that this condition is very important. But, uh, I remember some other condition. I can't recall what it is on that. Uh, I think you have to build in linearity. Maybe what you're thinking of is in vector spaces, if you have um, a linear operator on a vector space, if it's bounded, it's continuous, and vice versa already. And that comes from the linearity. But it goes the other way. You have to assume the linearity to prove that boundedness and continuity are equivalent. It doesn't go the other way. All right. All right. This comes directly from the linearity of the uh, integral, integral operator yeah. and the exponential mm -hmm. characteristic of f of g. So you can prove that if you want, because that's that's true. We have linearity, and here's a, here's 